Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a fighter jet that is truly iconic in the history of NATO Air Defense and European Aviation Collaboration, the Panavia Tornado ADV. This is a jet that represented not just a technological solution to a defense problem, but also the spirit of multinational cooperation between the United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy. The Tornado ADV, which stands for Air Defense Variant, was not simply a modification of the Tornado Strike Fighter, it was a specialized interceptor, designed for long-range defense of NATO airspace during the height of the Cold War. It is often remembered for its size, its twin engines, its variable geometry wings, and its role in the Royal Air Force as the Tornado F-2 and later the Tornado F-3. The Tornado ADV story begins in the 1970s when Britain recognized that it needed a replacement for the aging English Electric Lightning, which had been the backbone of RAF interception capabilities since the 1960s. The Lightning was fast and had spectacular climb performance, but it lacked endurance and modern radar. The RAF required something that could patrol for long periods, detect Soviet bombers at distance, and engage them before they could threaten British airspace. At the same time, the RAF wanted to keep costs reasonable and maintain compatibility with NATO allies. This led to the development of a specialized interceptor based on the Panavia Tornado IDS interdictor strike, which was already being developed as a joint European strike aircraft. Now the Tornado IDS was designed for low-level strike missions, flying fast at treetop height to deliver conventional or nuclear weapons. It was rugged, capable, and had variable sweep wings that allowed it to handle both high-speed flight and shorter takeoffs and landings. The British realized that by adapting the Tornado design, they could create a long-range interceptor without starting from scratch. This adaptation became the Tornado ADV. The first prototype flew in 1979, and by 1984 the first F-2 variant entered service. Later it would be improved into the Tornado F-3, which became the definitive interceptor version. One of the key features of the Tornado ADV was its radar system. It was fitted with the AI.24 Foxhunter radar, a powerful pulse Doppler set designed to detect and track multiple targets at long range, even against the clutter of ground returns. The idea was to give the RAF a capability similar to the American F-14 Tomcat with its AWG-9 radar. The Tornado ADV was supposed to be able to detect Soviet Tu-95 Bear bombers or 222M backfire bombers at long distance and engage them with long-range air-to-air missiles. Initially, the British planned to arm it with the Skyflash missile, which was a derivative of the American AIM-7 Sparrow but with British radar seekers. Later in its service life, the Tornado ADV would be upgraded to fire the AIM-120 AMROM missile, which gave it true beyond visual range capability. When we talk about performance, the Tornado ADV was a large aircraft with a crew of two, pilot and weapons system officer, and it was powered by two Turbo Union RB199 after burning turbofan engines. It had a maximum speed of around Mach 2.2 at altitude, which placed it in the same league as other contemporary interceptors. Its range was greatly extended compared to the id strike version because it had more internal fuel and less need to carry heavy strike weapons. It had an endurance that allowed it to patrol large areas of the North Sea, a vital capability for intercepting potential Soviet incursions. The variable geometry wings allowed it to sweep back for high-speed interception or extend forward for low-speed loiter and approach. In terms of design, the Tornado ADV looked almost identical to the Tornado IDS from a distance, but there were differences. It had a longer fuselage to fit the larger radar and extra fuel, and its weapon pylons were optimized for air-to-air -air weapons instead of bombs. It could carry up to four Skyflash or AMROM missiles under its fuselage, as well as short-range sidewinders under its wings. In later upgrades, it could also carry the ASRAAM short-range missile, making it more flexible in dogfight scenarios. Now let's talk about the role this aircraft played. During the Cold War, RAF Tornado ADVs were deployed to defend the United Kingdom and to patrol NATO's northern flank. They were often scrambled to intercept Soviet bombers flying probing missions near British airspace. Many times, photographs emerged of Tornado F-3S escorting Tu-95 bears or other aircraft. These intercepts were part of the cat-and-mouse game that characterized NATO-Soviet relations in the 1980s. The Tornado ADV was also deployed abroad, notably during the Gulf War in 1991. Although its primary role there was limited, 
Tornado F-3S did perform combat air patrols and protect coalition forces from possible Iraqi aircraft. They were later deployed to enforce no-fly zones over Iraq in the 1990s, proving that even though designed for the Cold War, the Tornado ADV could adapt to new conflicts. When it comes to pricing, the Tornado ADV was an expensive aircraft for its time. Each unit cost around 30 to 40 million US dollars in the 1980s, depending on the configuration and exchange rate. Adjusted for inflation to today's dollars, 